so uh, till now we have understood the different type of crystal oscillators uh, that are basically possible to use in RL78 microcontroller and the internal structure the clock tree of the RL74 78 core uh, but uh, to repeat that always like make a check of the hardware user manual of the series that you are using because uh, with the series the clock tree also uh, differs uh, for a particular extent yeah so that was the highlights now coming back uh, to the software the cube suit software where we are going to program it so i'll uh, yeah we'll we'll go from this place yeah the operation modes the options of the operations modes are like this so the voltage ranges basically varies now if you are going to use this rl78 device for like 1.64 volt or 1.7 or 1.8 volt whatever the voltage is so you need to select the voltage range for the same now <clears throat> remember one thing if you are going to use lower voltage like 2 volt or 1.6 volt so when you click it over here so the hoko the high speed on chip oscillator which was capable of going up to 64 megahertz can only support up to 4 megahertz okay not more than that so we i recommend you uh, to use uh, this uh, frequency uh, this voltage of 5 volts so that you can attain the maximum frequency that the rl78 mcus are capable of giving okay then there are evdd pins so when the number of uh, the pins basically increases so to source the current we have to have uh, a separate uh, EVDD uh, uh, like just like a VDD there is a separate pin by the name of EVDD which is used to source the current that is required for to give out from so many other pins so this is the voltage range that we have selected for that so you can again make a check of uh, this one okay so yeah that is there now we are having the options main system clock so as I have already shown you that we were having in the main system clock there were two options the external oscillator or the internal oscillator so we are going to use so this is the same option it is high speed on chip oscillator the internal one and this is high speed system clock so if you put tick over here then you have to specify the frequency of the crystal that you are attaching on the x1 and x2 pin but if you are using uh, the internal oscillator you just need to let uh, this thing remain like that you can uh, like there are options when you can use high speed on chip oscillator as well the uh, uh, the external clock also so in, like there are some specific cases the this thing is basically your system is basically running through the internal oscillator but some other peripheral might be uh, or, or, or opposite the system is basically uh, running from the external clock and the some RX timer or RD timer are basically run from the uh, internal oscillator so those are the application use cases where uh, we use uh, both the crystals at the same time so in our case we are not going to use it it's just a demo video so I am going to remove the tick we are going to run the system on 32 megahertz so that is how it is now again if you are placing one uh, crystal oscillator of 32.768 kilohertz so you can put a tick over here and uh, you can tell it like you are using it so then you will be getting the option for the uh, RTC and interval uh, timer uh, source clock you can select either of the same but if you don't uh, place in crystal you will it will automatically be like 15 okay so in similarly I think uh, we get this option as well uh, if you want to like there are times when you need to uh, conserve the power of the whole system like in case of battery management system because if the battery is kept outside the vehicle and it is in the storage area you do not want your own system to consume that battery so that it uh, the cell voltage goes below 3 and they are non revivable in that kind of situation you can use uh, this frequency and the power consum uh, consumption of the microcontroller reduces to a very drastic level okay so just an explanation on that point so we'll not be using uh, this as of now also so uh, yeah we have uh, understood all the options that are there rtc and cpu peripheral clock the options that we were getting that's all so moving further
the same block diagram but in bad pixels that's the reason i opened the uh, data sheet hardware user manual from the website now coming to this